Hello for the primary. Our lesson today is the fractions. Fraction is the type of the division. How? For example, if I said 25 over 5, it's like 25 divided 5. The first question here complete the following. 3 equal 27 over what? Here, the missing number is the denominator number. So, 27 divided 3 equals 9. If the missing number uh, in the denominator, so uh, I'm going to use the division sign. Here, the second one, 8 equal what over 2? Here, the missing number in the denominator number. So, 8 times 2 equals 16. So, how to check my answer? 16 divided 2 equals 8. 2 over 3 equals 4 over what? This type called equivalent fraction. Two fractions, I want them to be in the equal part. How? 2 became 4. How? 2 times 2 will be 4. So, um, 3 times 2 down will be 6. If the sign add time, so it, it must to make the, uh, the denominator times. Um, so here, times 2 up and times 2 down. 20 over 25 equals 4 over what? Here, 20 became 4. A big number became a small number. So the, the, uh, the sign here will be divided. So 20 divided what equals 4? 20 divided 5. So divided 5 up and divided 5 down. So 25 divided 5 equals 5. Simplify, simplify. It's one of the most important uh, questions. Simplify, which means I have a big a fraction, I want to, s to make it smaller. How? Simplify, which means division. The only sign I'm going to use in the simplify is the division. So, the first one, 2 over 4 equals what? So, 2 and 4. 2 and 4, in which tables together? So, searching in the old tables, table from table 2 to table 9, 2 and 4. Two, is 2 and 4 in table 2 in the answers of table 2? Yes. Is 2 and 4 in table 3? No, is 2 and 4 in table 4? Just 4, not 2. So, the, uh, they're going to use table 2 here. Why? Because 2 and 4 both together in the, same, in, ta in the same table, which is table 2. So, divided 2 up and divided 2 down. 2 divided 2 equals 1. 4 divided 2 equals 2. The, uh, so, the, sim the simplest form for 2 over 4 will be half. 4 over 6 equals what? I want to simplify. Simplify we, me, uh, means what? Division. So, 4 and 6 in, in which table together in, uh, in the answers? 4 and 6 also in table 2 together. So, divided 2 up and divided 2 down. 4 divided 2 equals 2. 6 divided 2 equals 3. 24 over 28 equals what? 24 and 28 in table 2 because they are an even number, both of them. In table 4, so, uh, which is greater, 2 or 4? I'm going to use the greatest one. So, divided 4 up and divided 4 down. So, the answer will be 6 over 7. This type, um, complete uh, addition and subtraction for uh, the fraction. 3 over 7 plus 4 over 7. As we said before, the denominator will be the same number. So, I will put the 7 in the denominator 1 and make addition for 3 plus 4. 3 plus 4 equals what? 4 in my mind and 3 in my finger, so four, 3 plus 4 equals 7. So the whole number will be 7 over 7. 7 over 7, which means whole number. Whole number equal 1. As we said before, if the fraction up and down with the same number, they will be equal 1. 4 over 9 minus 2 over 9 equals what? As we said, we put the same denominator, which is 9. So 4 minus 2 equals 2. So the answer will be 2 over 9. 1 minus what equals 2 over 6? Here, it, it must cross the 1 and put it as a fraction. How? By the denominator number. The denominator number here is 6. So we are going to cross 1 and put 6 over 6. So 6 minus what equals 2? 6 minus 4. And put the denominator the same, which is 6. Here we have three types of fraction. The first one called proper fraction. The second one, improper fraction, and the third one, mixed number. So what is the difference between them? The proper fraction is the denominator smaller than the numerator one. Again, a proper, which means the uh, numerator is smaller than the denominator one, and the improper, the vice versa, which is 
<coughs> a denominator is greater than the numerator. Okay, and mixed number we have three numbers, or whole number and fraction. Five, uh, for example, five two over nine, which means five called whole number and the fraction. So the three types proper, improper, and mixed number. Complete the following. One, two over three equals what? I want to write this fraction into improper fraction. Okay, so how? One times three, we will make the whole number times the denominator one. One times three equal three. So three plus two, the answer plus the numerator, three plus two equal five. So five over three, I won't change the denominator, so the answer will be five over three. Another one, four three over five equals what? Also, I want to <coughs> write it in the improper fraction. I will put uh, the denominator as it. So, I will gonna write in the denominator number 5. So, how to got the first one? 4 times 5 equals 20. 20 plus 3 equals 23. So, the numerator here will be 23. 4 over 3 equals what? Here, I want to change the improper to mixed number by using the long division. Do you remember it? We said before, 4 divided 3. <coughs> I'm going to write table 3, 3 times 1 equals 3, and 3 times 2 equals 6. Okay, 4, between 3 and 4, we're going to use the smaller one. So, I'm going to write add 1, and the denominator 3. 4 minus 3 equals 1. So, the first one, <coughs> I'm going to write the 3 in the whole number, and 1 over 4. Complete the following. The decimal point, what is the meaning of decimal number? Any number I will put in so between the numbers a, a point. This is called a decimal point. Okay, 2, 3 over 10. I want to write this one at the decimal point. Okay, 2 is a whole number, so I will take 2 and put it in the whole number. So 3 over 10, the denominator is 10. To write the number in the decimal point, the denominator must be 10 or hundred or thousands and here the denominator is 10 so I'm gonna jump just one place so I'm supposed to put the decimal point after 3 and jump one place so the answer will be 2.3 6 or 3 over 1000 equal what? I want to write also it in a decimal point as we said before to write any fraction in the decimal point the denominator must be 10 or 100 or 1000 and here the denominator is 1000 6 is a whole number so I will put it in the whole number so how to <coughs> here the answer uh, will be 6.003 why because we've done three places okay but here um, I have only one place it, it must to put two zeros to jump three places so the answer will be 6.003 5, 3 over 4 equals what? Also, I want here to uh, write in the decimal point, but here the denominator is not 10 or 100 or 1,000. So the first step, it, it must to convert it into 10 or 100 or 1,000. How? By using the friends number, which are 2, 4, 8, 5, 25, and 125. So the friends of 4 here is 25. So I will make the denominator times 25, the numerator times 25. So our new fraction will be 5, 75 over 100. Now the denominator is 100. It's easy to convert in the decimal. We're just jumping two places, so the answer will be 5.75. 1 over 4 here also, the denominator is not 10 or 100 or 1000, so we are going to use <coughs> the friends number. Also the friends of 4 is 25, so our new fraction will be 25 over 100. So we are, we are going to jump two places, so the answer will be 0 0.25. Here we put a zero in the whole number because we don't have any whole numbers here. Okay, 1.5 equals, equals what? I want to write improper. Improper fraction? Okay, I'm going to hide the decimal point, so the, the number will be 15. I will put 15 in the numerator 1. So I'm going to ask myself, what the, the, how many decimal numbers, or how many numbers after the decimal point here? Just one place. So 15 over 10. If, if, the, if there is only one number, the denominator will be 10. Two numbers after the decimal, 100, 1000, if three places. Okay, complete the following. 8.531 equal what? Here, I want to convert from a decimal number into improper fraction, the vice versa of the last question. 
I'm gonna hide the decimal point. So the number will be 8,531. I will put it in the numerator one. Okay, so I'm gonna ask myself how many numbers after the decimal point? Three numbers. So in the denominator, I put 1,000 with three zeros. 8.003 equals what? I want the next number. As we said before, in the, in the decimal point, in the decimal number, the part of the part before the decimal point called the whole number. The code the whole number. So here 8 is the whole number. I will take 8 and put in the whole number. So I will put 3 in the numerator. And also I'm going to ask myself how many digits after the decimal point. Here I have 3 uh, places. So I will put in the numerator 1000. Denominator 1000. Okay. 23.78 the place value do you remember the difference between the place value and value the place value which means the home of the number and here 23.78 so the place value of the 7 here I want the place value 3 is the unit 2 is the tenth, 7 is the tenth, and 8 is the hundred so here 7 is tenth. okay 5.432 equals what I want the value of 2 Okay, instead of the whole number, I will put zero. Then the decimal point. Instead of four, I will put zero. Instead of three, I will put zero and write two as it. So the value will be 0 0.002. Okay, nine and three tenths. How to write it in digits? Okay, as we said before, I'm going to cross n and put instead of it decimal point. So what is before the decimal point? 9. So I'm going to write it as it. 9 point, what? 3 chances. If, if the word after the decimal chances, so which means I want just one number. If hundreds, I just want two numbers. If thousands, I want three numbers. Here chances. So the three will put after the decimal point, so the answer will be 9.3. 5.27. Okay, the vice versa of the last question, I want here to write in words. As we said, I'm going to cross the decimal point and put instead of it and. So, 5 and 27. After the decimal point here, there's two numbers. So, how am I going to read it? 27 hundredths. Why hundredths? Because there's two digits after the decimal point. So, the answer will be 5 and 27 hundredths. Okay. 8 and 7,000, how to convert it also in digits. Okay, I'm going to cross and and put instead of its decimal point, so before the end, 8. I'm going to write it 8. 7,000, here thousands. It, it must be there is uh, 3 digits. Is 7 3 digits? Of course not. Okay, so I will put 0, 0, then, uh, then 7. So the answer will be 8.007. Okay, thank you for this uh, revision. Hope you all the best.